What is up? It is Nessarabs here. Welcome back to my channel. Here is my second Halloween tutorial of 2016. It is a zombie killer ride. Basically, you're back for revenge for your husband who killed you on your wedding day. Yes. Want to see how to get this ghoulish, glam, creepy, ugly look? Be sure to keep watching. Alright, so first things first, I'm taking my NYX pore filler and just fill in the pores as per usual. Alright, so before we get into the liquid latex, I'm taking a white eye pencil. I'm just going to kind of draw where I want my open wounds to be, um, just so we kind of get an idea and we're not just making random things and then it gets really overwhelming. Alright, so now that we generally kind of figured out where we want our holes, I am taking this liquid latex and a sponge. I'm just going to dab around and add Kleenex to kind of build a layer. So for the layering, I'm just taking two ply Kleenex, splitting the plies in half, and then just ripping them into little pieces so that they can go along the latex to create our cuts. And then once you put one layer, you put more latex, layer, layer, layer. I tend to do about three layers for these ones. Now for these little parts, the ones on my nose and right underneath my lip, I don't want to make them huge holes, so I'm just putting a little bit of la liquid latex with no Kleenex and we're just going to pull it open, just to give it that little extra grossness. Alright, so now that our latex is dried, we're going to be doing our full face, just kind of like we're getting married. So for foundation, I'm going to be taking my NYX Stay Matte Not Flat and mixing it with this white cream paint and also a gray cream paint and we'll kind of see what happens with that. And we're just going to do our full face. And And you do want to cover any part of your body that's going to be showing through your costume. So now I'm going to be taking a flat stipple brush and I'm just going to rub it out. Kind of spread it and stuff. Oh, this stuff is so cur cur. Alright, so now that I look like absolutely nothing has changed, my latex is coming off. Gotta pull a little bit more to dry up. Yeah, it looks like nothing has changed on my face. I kind of look like my same color, maybe a little bit grayer, a little grosser, but we're gonna work with it because this paint is just not doing its thing for me. So I am going to continue on and contour my face, my eyes, you know, stuff like that. We're gonna leave the cuts till last. So to contour my face, we're going to make it dark and gross looking. So I'm going to be using this black shade in the Morphe 35B palette, as well as this gray shade, the light gray shade from the Hard Candy palette from Walmart. And I'm just taking this foundation brush that is still green from my Frankenstein because the green does not want to wash off just like I didn't want to wash off my face. I literally had like a green hue to my face three days after I filmed. It's not fun. So this cream paint is making it really sticky, um, which is making it kind of hard to use. So we're just gonna try and work with it. Do you see this? Not working. But we'll figure it out like we do for each one. 
let's try some browns. I'm going to be taking this second shade in the NYX contouring palette with, again, a green brush because the color does not wash up. And it's okay if it's not absolutely beautiful because we're dead. We're dirty. We were pretty once, but now we're dead. So it is okay. So we also want to contour our collarbones because we are a skeleton now. So I'm just going in. I'm just going in with the browns. And that's not doing anything. Okay. I'm going in with some black and browns. Alright, you know what? You know what? Dirt patch. It's fine. It's good. We're still good. If you guys couldn't tell, I'm doing this on the fly. Have not practiced it. Just kind of doing whatever happens. Um, yeah. That's about it. Where's the other brush? Brushy, brushy, where is brushy? And I arrive. So now. Again, just because we did, we can still be cute. I'm going to be putting on some blush. Um, for blush, we are going to use a dirty dark red brown. So I'm going to be taking, let's do this brown right here and kind of mix it with the rest of the colors and see what happens. Put it everywhere and blend it out because we are dirty. And that's just what we like. Alright. And again, just because we did doesn't mean we can't highlight. So for highlight, I am going to take my Carly Bye Bell palette and I'm going in with the lightest shade, just with my finger, and just glowing. Okie dokie. Let's start on our eyes. So for eyebrows, I am going to be taking a small angled brush as well as a eyeliner. And we're going to make them nice and dark. Super dark. So first things first, brush them out if you can. <laughs> that side's got a little bit of the good latex on it. <clears throat> Anyways. <laughs> All right. So, eyebrows are dark and dark and somewhat on fleek. Just somewhat. So now I'm going to be priming my eyes with the NYX HD primer. Wow. So first things first, I'm going to take. Ooh, wrong pad. <laughs> Alright, so first things first, I'm going to be taking the Morphe 350M palette, and in the lightest shade, I'm just going to take that, and it's going to go right underneath our brows. Alright, and now I'm going to be taking this brown right here as our transition shade. Alright, so now we're going to do the black smoke so I am taking my beauty for real eyeliner pencil and we're just going to put that all over it and then I am going to take a brush and blend it out So as we can see, this has like grayed out, so I'm going into my Smashbox Double Exposure in the black shade and just with a blending brush, we're just going to set it. I lied, with a regular brush. Alright, so going back in with a flatter brush and my Carly Bible palette in the shade that we highlighted with, the lightest one. 
I'm just going to highlight underneath. Brows, get a little, little sparkle, you know. So now we're going to take the angled brush that we use for our eyebrows and we're going to just drag the black underneath. It is okay if it is messy because we're crying, we're dead. This is all just going to be one big smudge after. So it is all good. And then you just want to go in with the blending brush. I'm just rubbing it out. Ah, I poked myself in the eye. Ah, ah, ah. Stupid nails. I'm just going to rub it out. So now I'm going to be taking a flat brush and a purple color from the Hard Candy palette. And we're just going to go under our eyes, make it look a little bit bruised and more dead and stuff. I'm also going to be taking some green from the Morphe palette, the darkest shade. So, this one right here. And we're just going again, put it under our eyes, drag it down, make us look dead and shit. So I'm going to be taking some of this bright yellow mixed with this color. Same brush. It doesn't matter. Mix it underneath so we look rotty and old. Like a breeze. Oh. Alrighty, so before I put on my lashes, I'm going to pop on some whiteout contacts. And then pop on the lashes and then we just start with these. Okay. These look sick. Alright, got the contacts in, a little creepy, I don't know, got the eyelashes on, so now I'm going in with the Ciate Fierce Flicks Liquid Eyeliner, and we're just going to line them up, cover up the glue, and yes. Alrighty, now it's for the fun part, we get to open up our cuts. So. I am going to be taking a pair of tweezers. You can use a pair of scissors, you just have to be really careful with this step because you don't want to hurt yourself. So I'm just going in on the center. You also want to be careful that you don't rip it off your face. Ouch. <laughs> Okay, now that we have holes in our big holes, I'm going to go in with the flat ended tweezer and just lift them up. Alright, we got our big holes open up. Now we're just going to pick open our little ones. And now that we have our holes nice and open, I'm going to be taking a red cream paint that I got at the dollar store and a brush. And we're just going to fill in these holes. <laughs> so now I'm going to take an eyeshadow brush with some black eyeshadow. And we're just going in and darkening up this red. Because side flesh is not that bright. You can just like pat in the black so you get like that splotted effect. Okay, so then we're just gonna go in with some more red cream paint and you kind of just keep going until you feel your cuts are a good mixture. So now I'm going to be taking the same black eyeshadow and we're just going to dust on our cuts to make them look nice and dirty. You want to go around them, make them look bruised. And you want to do the same thing with purple and green. Just dust over them, make them look bruised until you're happy. Alright, so when you're happy with your cuts, it, you're basically done. All you have to kind of do is lips, blood, and costume. So for lips, I'm taking the NYX Liquid Suede in 
stone fox and we're just going to put it on. So all I did was I just kind of smudged out the corner a little bit so it looks like our lips got damaged along with our face. Alright, so now that the lips are done, we can add some blood. I got this vampire blood from my local value village for about two bucks. If I could open it, that would be great. Now I'm just going to drip it. Whoa! Didn't expect that to happen. Alright, make sure you're careful. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope this doesn't stain my life. So you just want to drip it into your cut. If it drips down, it's okay. Just make sure you have your covered for it. Just spread that in over there everywhere. You want to get some blood around the edges of your cuts just so they look real. We got a drop but fall all the way down there. Kind of let it dry for a little bit. Alright, so now that we're all blood up, we can go and put on our costume and then we are all set. final look all you have to do is throw on any white dress I happen to have this old wedding dress that I had in a costume from a dance and it also came with this just rhinestoned it a little bit and you have your glamorous yet zombie killer bride if you like this video make sure you give it a thumbs up and also make sure you press the subscribe button I'm gonna be putting out a bunch more Halloween tutorials if you like this look, be sure to, again, press the subscribe button so you can keep up with the other ones I'm posting. I also posted a 50s pinup Frankenstein bride if you want to check that out. I'll put the link down in the description. And we all That's about it. So, until next time, love you too.